Well, I don't know exactly what I want And I don't know exactly what I Sweetie. Oh, uh, um, Monica, I would like you to meet my friend Robbie. Hi. <laughs> hey, Mom. What are you doing? Yeah. I wanted another video for tonight. Hi. I'm Sarah. This is Monica. Nice to meet you. So, honey, do you want to ride home tonight? I'll wait outside for you. It's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My beamer's in the shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be off to midterms next week, you know. Call me later, okay? Okay, bye, bunny. My God, Mario, where did you meet her? She's fabulous. <sighs> Isn't she great? psychology class last semester. Well, if you ever ditch her, be sure to let me know. <laughs> Mario, why don't you join us for dinner? Oh, well, I don't know. I kind of... She really cooks. <laughs> okay. So, Miss Marino, did you catch any of the game last Sunday? No, I didn't catch the game. <laughs> Mario, my husband isn't interested in that kind of game. <laughs> but I'm sure he'd love to hear about that beautiful girl you're seeing, Monica. Monica, you, you've met her? I have. She's lovely. Lovely. It's amazing. I can't believe it, but we're getting pretty serious. Marriage? We're thinking about it. Oh, Robbie, I wish you would meet somebody like Monica. Well, Mario does say if he and Monica split up, he's gonna let me know. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late and I have to wake up early tomorrow to go to the school gym. I had a, a great time and Mrs. Marino, you can really cook. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for coming, Mario. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wasn't sure if it was you, but I saw you from across the street. <laughs> Do you want to go for coffee? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I like to work out first thing in the morning to clear my head so I can get a good start to the day. That's great. <laughs> I wish Robbie would do more of that. <laughs> Mario, I don't, I don't really understand why you guys are talking about marriage. What do you mean? Just, I just hate to see a young couple make a mistake so early in their life. A mistake? Marrying so young. Mario, a man reaches a sexual peak at 19. <laughs> And a woman at 35. It's tragic. I think, didn't it? I don't know what you're talking about, Mrs. Marino. <laughs> I think you do. Wouldn't it be so much more lovely to have a man and woman reach their peak together? I saw Monica at school yesterday. She was walking with some guy. Did you say hi? No. She seemed to be quite preoccupied with the guy. Bad Monica, she can be quite intense sometimes. <laughs> I don't know, can you with you two getting married? Kind of encouraging it. It's odd. <laughs> Why is that odd? Well, you know, I mean, in today's world, everybody doesn't want to make a commitment. But when you see the right girl, if you snooze, you lose. Well, look, I'm right behind you. She's a knockout. Anybody would be glad to have her as her number one squeeze. Yeah, I, I'm pretty lucky. Oh, listen. Uh, I gotta get going. I mean, Monica, for a bite to eat. One thing before we go. Uh, Dad and I are going on a fishing trip this weekend, and I was kind of wondering if maybe uh, you could fill in for me at work. Yeah. Sure. Thanks, man. Easier. The sooner we get married, the better. <laughs> That's flattering. But we're still only teenagers. But you were all for it. It was all your idea. Come on. We need to be realistic. If we got married, where would the money come from? Money? I can't believe you're talking about money. My parents will help us out. We can live with them. We can use the basement suite all to ourselves. Marco, we have so much ahead of us. I think we need to give this a bit of a thought. Sarah. Can I give you a lift? 
Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I just around the corner. My husband and Robbie are away for the weekend. Nice bedroom. The cell phone? You know what I mean. Hmm. I do. Darling, don't worry. I'll fix everything. And I'll see you very soon. be here at lunch playing the guitar. Ravi. How was your weekend? Nothing spectacular. The usual. The usual. Well, I really appreciate what you did for me. Dad and I had a great time. Father and son. Mono a mono. Half the family, not the female side. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Did you drop by my place on the weekend? Uh, no. Why do you ask? The maid found this in the master bedroom. My cell phone. Well, I, I lost it over the weekend. I don't know how it would have gotten to your house. In the master bedroom. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your mom, she was driving by as I was getting off work and my mom... Strange. My mom said she was at a spa all weekend. All weekend? All weekend. I'll see you around, Mario. Bye. 
Robbie said the mate found this in your bedroom. <laughs> Actually, my husband found it. <laughs> your husband found my cell phone in your bedroom? Robbie also said that you told him you were at the spa all weekend. Getting out of here. Have Robbie or Mr. Marino ever found her? What? what could possibly happen? Look, look, don't worry. day I was walking to my car and I saw Mario coming out of the video store with a very beautiful woman. <laughs> they stopped to say goodbye and they were kissing <sighs> very affectionately. Then she went over to her car and he ran over to her and kissed her again. Very, very beautiful young woman. To tell the truth, I was surprised. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't have said anything. Maybe I, I'm out of place. No, no, you're not. Look, I, I wouldn't have said anything. It's just that I hate to see young people as nice as you get to make a big mistake. Why don't you and Mario come over for supper tonight? I'm sorry, Miss Marino. I think this is something I should confront him on my own. He's gonna just deny it. But I'll be there to say that it really happened. Well, Dad and I certainly had a good time fishing this weekend. I had no idea what a great outdoorsman Robbie is. Yeah, he really taught me everything I know. <laughs> <laughs> Monica, what did you do this weekend? Oh, I was studying. I have midterms this week. And uh, Mario, you too? Midterms as well? No, I was coming for Robbie so you guys can go fishing this weekend. Uh, <laughs> silly, of course. But you did find time to drop in and uh, visit my wife. Did you enjoy having sex with my wife? I don't know what you mean. Not exactly what I say. Did you enjoy having sex with my wife? What's going on here? It's Monica, I can explain. There's you... nothing to oh. explain! Monica! Monica? You bitch! Monica! <sighs> Cheers. <laughs> oh, Bill, you were superb. <laughs> How do you feel? Well, he was getting tiresome. <laughs> it's obvious he's not the right kind of guy for Monica. She needs somebody with more maturity. Like our Robbie, for instance. <laughs> like my mother always said, what are families for? <laughs> Thank you. 